Now you want to stop this shit, huh? Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, man. You cannot do this shit now. Look at you. Ah, see, now you see yourself on TV, huh? Now you see yourself. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at Raina. Look at Raina. <laughs> I don't know whether you watching TV or you watching your video. Anyway, all right, let's do this right quick. Peace to YouTube fan. Peace to the Bulldoggers in the universe. It's the one and only Ray Imperial, right? Y'all know how we do. We here to keep the heat, baby. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Okay, Mr. Willie Sanchez, 89. Peace, peace. How are you, bro? Good to see you in the building. Yeah, y'all, let's line it up. Um, Give me one second. I'm going to hop out, and then I'm going to hop right back in for a minute. <laughs> Gosh, girl, why you want to start this? Because you know you're on TV, huh? Come on, man. Come here, Raina. <laughs> You really not gonna let me do this, right? Go ahead. Go ahead. That's enough. It is. It's a fact. That's what we deal with. That's what we deal with. All right, y'all. Let's get it together. Let's get it together. So, so we have a serious, serious issue. We got a serious, serious issue on the table tonight, y'all. All right. We got Chris Grady in the house. Samurai Kennels, Modern Game Dogs. Peace. Salute. Salute. Yeah, let's run it up, y'all. Let's run it up, man. Please, as you come in the building, hit that like button. This is just for this. This is just for the Cam Glamorati. This is for those who truly understand. So, long, long, long time running issue here. Um, uh, regarding uh Camelot Kennels and Camelot Pits, um, and. It's it's really one of those things that um, you know, I've only been around these dogs for about five years now, right? And when I first started getting involved with these dogs, I always assumed that Camelot Pitts was, you know, Camelot, right? And then I found out that there was Camelot before Camelot Pitts. And that kind of blew my mind because that was where my boy's blood came from. You know, what I mean, His, he didn't really uh he had some Camelot Pitts blood, but he had some uh uh Camelot Kennels blood, so to speak. Asiatic soldier, salute, salute, salute. That's what I'm talking about. Peace and blessings. Good to see you in the building, beloved. So what we talking about tonight, y'all, is um One of the Cam Glamorati, that's all that that that's the only way I could put it. His young brother, um, he got his IG page and he called his joint Camelot Kennels. And he made a distinction between where his blood comes from. His blood, you know, he made sure, you know what I mean? Like nothing offered, you know, nothing acquired from Camelot pits. This blood is acquired from Camelot Kennels. Well, when he did that. And because I guess his name, the, the name of his page, his IG page is Camelot Kennels. This boy went sick. Kenny Sonia hit him up, man, and went ape shit. Went ape shit. Um, told the boy he didn't know nothing. You know, he was talking crazy. Said he never acquired no dogs from art. He never. Basically, it sounded to me like he never did business with art. And the way he kind of slanted his 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 his. His his uh picture of art, he didn't sound like he was very fond of, of art. So it didn't sound like they did business together back then or any of that, right? So the, the, the logical question came to me, well, if you claim you never got no dogs from art, right? And we know art started Camelot Kennels first. Where did Camelot Pits come from? And so this is the question that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm all over it tonight, y'all. I'm all over it. Trust me when I tell you. I'm so happy, man. Shout out 
to the young brother man that 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 reached out to me with this man because this is the type of insight and information that people truly need right there, there's a major difference to what's going on jersey in the building let's build let's get it new jerusalem peace asiatic that's what i'm talking about new jerusalem huh man listen gotta love my people but all right listen let's get it right let's get it let's get it um I'm going to be opening this joint up, man, because y'all know, like I stated, man, I've been around these dogs for maybe five years, man. I can't talk to you about what happened in 1999. I can't talk to you about what happened in 1989 around these Camelot dogs. But there are some people who may be able to help us out tonight, right? And I'm really hoping that y'all set the record straight. I'm going to post something up here. And, and like, if, if, if you're in the building, let, let it be known, man. Let it be known. All right, give me a sec here, y'all. Bear with me, y'all, while I pull up this information right quick. So we're gonna begin at the beginning, right? Right? Like, because I don't I don't want nobody to get anything misconstrued. The brother at one time, the name of his IG page was Camelot Pitts, right? And I think it was Camelot Pitts 784. And so he rearranged that to Camelot Kennel, right? 784. And uh, I'm going to give y'all a glimpse of uh, what the brother's page looked like, man. And and from what I understand, he's just a young brother that loved the breed. You understand what I'm saying? Um, We might even have him on to talk a little bit about man, how he got involved because uh, that's, always, that's always a beautiful story in itself. But um, let me do this right quick. All right, we're going to share this. All right. <clears throat> Can y'all see this? Just give me a thumbs up in the chat if y'all can see this, man. You know, let me know in the chat some kind of way if y'all can see this, uh, see this IG page that I just posted up here. Yeah, what's up, bro? That's what I'm talking about. We in the building. We here to set some records straight. We had to set the record straight. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> Chris, Chris Grady in the building. Yala One in the building. Mr. Willie Sanchez, who that hiding back there? <laughs> welcome, 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 one and all. Welcome, one and all. All right, so um, this is the young brother, uh, and he calls his page Camelot, Camelot Kennel 784. He used to call it Camelot Pit 784. See here, it's Camelot Pitt 784 underscore. 
and then later on he changed it to uh, Camelot Kennels. So, long story short, I guess Kenny took it upon himself to reach out to the man and sent him a message. And the message was to the effect that, you know, um, the dude's page was fraudulent, right? And that's that's that that's a rough word. You say fraudulent. That's 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 heavy, man. That's heavy. You talking you talking big, like, like. But I guess the use of the name Camelot somehow offended him. So I like the fact that the young man reached out to me regarding this. And he and I spoke once before about some serious Camelot matters, but we won't get into that right now. I'm gonna try to blow this up for y'all here. All right. So to start with, he says, this is such a fraudulent page. Do you realize I never bought a dog from Art? He never produced a dog that I owned. Boom. I'm going to stop right there, y'all. I'm going to stop right there. Somebody talk to me. Somebody talk to me. Here we have a guy with a son off a of Duke, right? And... His tone is such that he never did no business with art. If I had to argue, I'd say he didn't even know art. Like, I, I mean, that's the way he comes off in such a way that's, that's a little crazy. Impact Kennels, what's good with you, bro? Salute, salute. But this is something, man, that, you know, for an individual to actually sit back and claim this is, is some pretty deep stuff. Like him of all people to say he never did no business with art. Like, like, is that what I'm reading? Am I reading too much into that? Y'all let me know, man. Abdul Kamal, wa alaikum salam, ahuya. I really need to know, man. Because like I said, when I came into the game, I thought, Kenny Sonia and Camelot Pitts was Camelot. And then I learned different that there was a Camelot before his Camelot. So logically, my question was, well, how did he come into being called Camelot? Was that a business arrangement? So, you know, then my, my, my logical assumption was, well, him and Art must have been partners, right? But this guy talking like he's almost... I'm, I'm, I'm going to show y'all the rest of this because this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning, man. But I mean, like, if you're in the building, man, y'all let me know how y'all feel about that, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that, man. Do y'all think that the man's tone is a little bit, you know, aggressive? You know, like, like I mean, when I first read this, it, it was just almost like, how dare you put me in the same category with art? And I'm saying like, wow, wow, that's a little, that's a little rugged. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't, I don't even know how you are. You know, how, how you come at somebody young like that? Now, I want y'all to give me a minute because uh, I'm going to send out some links here because I, I, want, I want some people who may have been around or who may be connected to people who were around back then to kind of weigh in on, on, on what we're talking about here tonight. All right. So give me one second here. 
Let me uh pull up the what's the name to the what's the name. All right. That man Booyaka. Send that man a oh, hold on. This man, I want to send him a link. I want him to have that whole joint. I definitely want him up here. I know he ain't gonna be able to say but so much, but gotta get this dude. Got oh papa. All right. I have on say. Yeah, man. Yeah, it, yo, listen. And when I tell y'all, man, this gets serious, it gets serious. It, it like like certain things that were said, man, is like really like, damn, bro. Could the man rest in peace? You know what I mean? Like, like, oh my goodness, B. Like it, it, I, I don't even think all that was necessary, B. You know what I mean? But uh I'm going to give you all the whole discussion. I'm going to give you all the whole ins and outs, man, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to be straight up, bro. Um, Some of the questions that was being fired, that old boy was coming directly from me. You know what I mean? Inquiring minds want to know. So, uh, yeah, let's get at it, bro. Let's get at it. Let's talk about it, man. You know what I mean? Swamp Fire Pits. A lot of hate in the dog game. Yes, it is, Swamp Fire. Yes, it is. It's absolutely bananas, man. It's absolutely bananas. So, you know, this 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 little this little part right here, we've actually been able to verify, right? Because my question was, one of the Camelot dogs that, you know most of us know kenny for right it's chief right chief was a son of duke and since you know i'd uh extended the opportunity to have a discussion with him previously and that never happened i decided you know you know once that happened and and dude came and dude came the, the brother came at me and let me know you know what i mean say yo listen man this dude hit me with this message, man, and he talking reckless to me, t telling me I'm a fraud and all that. He said, I'm just a young brother that loves the breed. I don't want to get involved in all of this. So I felt like that was bullying the young brother. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you don't like, 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 then he started calling him a retard. He started saying stuff, man, that just really wasn't cool. It's like, are you retarded? That, that, I just, I'm going to post this stuff, man. I'm going to post this stuff. But let's start by going ahead and reading this. Let me go ahead and read this. He says, yo, this is such a fraudulent page, right? Do you realize I never bought a dog from art? I'm going to repeat that. Do you realize I never bought a dog from art? He never produced a dog that I own. Okay. So Kenneth Sonia, right, claims that he, Art never produced a dog that he owned. Now, that's kind of heavy for somebody carrying the Camelot Pitt's name, right? My, my question is, so then what is your connection to the name Camelot? How did you get it, right? If he was the original Camelot Kennels and that much has been established, where did you come in? That's a logical question. Especially since you decided to take your line of dogs into the whole Mastiff direction and continue to call them pit bulls and Camelot pit bulls at that, right? So you were actually creating band dogs, calling it Camelot pits, but you had no connection to the original Camelot Kennels founder? That, that, that to me is a little problematic, y'all. That to me is a little problematic. And, and I'm slow to judge, y'all, but that to me is a problem. That to me is a problem, man.
Okay, Elevated Kennels. 828 said he's standing up for the blood for the blood he lives. Oh, he's standing up for the blood he lives his life producing. Come at my Freemason bloodline and see if you don't get the same energy Kenneth gave. Facts. Okay. But I'm not interested in his energy. And I could give less than a damn about him standing up for what he's producing. Right? You said he's standing up for the blood he lives his life producing. I question that. Right. Because. He just said that he never did business with all. If I read the tone of this message correctly. It's like, yo, I ain't, I ain't never get nothing from all. And, and that's something that says, OK. Maybe maybe you didn't care for art so much. Maybe y'all didn't get along. Maybe y'all wasn't the partners or, or you know, maybe y'all didn't have the connection. So where did you get the name? See, I don't care about you standing up for the blood you producing. If you really standing up for it, you understand what I'm saying? You wouldn't be calling them pits from the beginning. You'd have let the people know that they was masters, that they was band dogs. So I don't buy that. Elevated kennels, you got to come again. You got to come again. At the end of the day, if he's standing up for what he's producing, why didn't he continue to call his dog Sonia's dogs? Like Bruiser was registered Sonia's Bruiser. He deliberately used the name Camelot Pitts. The Eddington and Ellis stuff was bred into the game. Many people not know it. So, don't tell me he was standing up for the blood that he produced. Standing up for it would have been saying, listen, I'm moving away from that. This is the foundation stock, but I'm moving away from that. I'm incorporating Mastiff, and I'm calling it Sonya's Mastiffs or Sonya's Band Dogs. Salute, salute, Rhodes. So, I don't buy that. I don't buy that. That that's that's not that's that's not really that's not really jiving with me. You understand? Standing up for a thing is saying, "Yo, listen. I found out that Raina has uh, um uh, she's got that Eddington stuff like like eight percent of it or something way back in in the in the ninth or tenth generation in a pedigree. Own that. Own that, B. Don't don't sit there and say that like you know at the end of the day that, that, that somehow. Uh, 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 you know, these are pits and, you know, you being called to the carpet, called to the carpet, called to the carpet. And it's not until two, three years ago that you actually come clean and start, you know, admitting, you know, what, what's in these, what's in these, uh, 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 dogs, what's in your line of dogs. Now I'm not even finished there because the elevated kennels, if he was really standing up for the blood that he lives his life producing. Riddle me this. Okay. He says, Come up with your own name and try to run it legit. Is this not the pot calling the kettle black? How do you tell somebody else to come up with their own name and you thief the name from somebody you don't even respect while they're in their grave? Listen, man, let's talk about it. Huh. He's telling this young person that Come up with your own name and try to run it legit. Stop making up lies. You can't change the truth. Huh. Right. Yes, Ben Reyes did produce Duke. But without a question, it was Arthur Darius that raised that dog to prominence. Duke was just a puppy when Arthur Darius got him. 
Arcidarius made the name Duke what he made it, especially in the record books, especially on the producing side of things. Let's go on. He says, do your research that everything that you say is untrue. It is all lies. You can call the ADBA. Wow. Do you realize art bred English Bulldogs and Rottweilers also? He went under the name Camelot Breeders and also Camelot Kennels because there was no bloodline. It was the name of a kennel that sold different breeds of dogs. That is what Art did. He also went to prison for many years so he couldn't be breeding dogs. He was locked up in prison. He didn't have any dogs when he got out. Do I need to repeat that? Art went to prison. Art did not have any dogs when he got out. He was in prison for many years. Wow. Wow. You run around with the name Camelot Pitts, but at the end of the day, you have no respect for Art at all, and he's in his grave. And despite the fact that he had Mastiffs and Bulldogs or whatever else you want to say he had, the video we see from Camelot Kennels that is floating around here on YouTube Good Guardian K9, uh, Good Guardian K9, and I'm going to think of the other outfit. It's out there. But, like, you know, at the end of the day, stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with me. You don't even have respect for the man in his grave. But you took the line into some whole mastiff shit, right? And, 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 just, just continue to call them pit bulls. You the major reason why people call these dogs bullies today. The major reason why people say, look, you look at this dog, man, and you just, man, it's bullshit. It's, 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 it's some of that bullshit that they creating out there today. And this dog is anything but. This dog is probably one of the most serious dogs I've ever laid my hands on. Against the grain bullies, what's good? So, yeah, like, 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 elevated kennels, eight, eight twenty-eight. Y'all gotta forgive me, my eyes ain't the best. Um, if you wanna hop back in these comments with a response to this, I would love to hear that. In fact, if anybody has a response to this, I would love to hear that. Where are you getting this from? Where on earth are you getting the fact that he's standing up for his for the blood that he lives his life producing? Nah, man. I have long wondered, man, how he came by the name Camelot. Point blank, bro, he stole it, man. He stole it. I was looking for somewhere in here for this man to say, listen, Art gave him permission. He had an agreement or they was partners or they had a relationship. This right here is very derisive of Art Sideris, rest in power. And I don't care what the man's personal vices were as during his lifetime, ain't none of us perfect. I don't care what he produced and what he left was something that we all benefit from, Kenny Sonia included. So you can't tell me, man, that somehow you can coach somebody else to start their own thing and you say come up with their own name and you so blatantly stole the name from from the founder of Camelot Kennels. Man, you need to get real with yourself, man. It's so serious, man, that at the end of the day, when I go back and I read this whole conversation, you know what I mean? It's like, it, it, it's, I really wonder, man, like, was you trying, was you trying to like, like, like undercut the man? Is that what it was?
So the question was put to him, said, listen, man, all right. You say you never got no dogs from art. How'd you get chief, right? Uh, <laughs> and, and, and funny thing in the world, this young man asked me if Kenny was a child. <laughs> oh man but yeah man like just listen man look Kenny's conscience is playing him he said is Kenny a child and I said he's probably older than both of us lol I said listen there's such a burden behind the breed. And for me, the breed Camelot is the best of the best all around. And I agree with that wholeheartedly. So Kenny goes on to say, listen. So the young brother asks him, how you got chief then? Kenny goes on to say, ha ha, you don't know. See, you don't know the history. So I suggest you stop talking about something that you know nothing about because all you are saying is lies. Like others have done in the past on the internet and they look like fools in the end and that's why they're gone now. Art did not produce Chief, which we found out is a fact. Uh, um, there was a gentleman, I believe his name was Lam Lamar. Uh, there seems to be some discrepancy on his last name, so I'm not going to venture down that road. But uh, a good brother by the name Lamar produced Chief, and that's where Kenny Sonia got the Chief dog. So that was indeed confirmed, but if you didn't get Chief from Art, What Camelot dog did you have before Chief? And why is Chief the foundation of so many of your breedings? If Art, you know, if, if you want to make it seem like you have no connection to what Art did and how he did it, why was Chief so prominent in so many of your breeds? Chief's name is all over the record books. And I don't even have to pull that stuff up. Y'all can y'all can search the online pets for yourself. But so the mentality here is one of like, like this is what I call a petty tyrant, y'all. You understand what I'm saying? He says, you are learning today from me, no one else. So who put you up to this? Where is this hate coming from? They are making you look like a fool. The only real history you have is what I told you. Everything else, I don't know where the hell it came from, but you're wrong. Accept it as a man that you were wrong for doing this. For asking a question. He said, why is he attacking me? I am young. I just love the breed. That's it. it. I hate all these shenanigans. I just love the breed. That's it. I don't think there's anyone in this world who loves Camelot like I do. It's a work of art. See, you see that? See the play on words? I love that. I love that. that that's 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 great stuff right there, man. But <laughs> I said I get it, bro. Fact is, this dog game comes with an excess of egos, and I could do without it as well. So moving right along. Let's get back into the back and forth with these messages, though. So the next the next thing was, he says. Uh, so the question was, then you never did business with art and just stole the name Camelot. So this was the question that was asked. Like, very bluntly, very straightforward. Listen, man, what is your connection to the name Camelot? What is your connection to Art Sedaris? How did you come up with Camelot? Like, like we know Camelot was already in existence before you, dude. So, so if, if you, you know, just didn't do no business with Camelot and Art and all of that, and you really didn't have no connection to Art, 
why the name Camelot? Of all names you could have chose, why the name Camelot? Let's go. Let's go now. Yeah, yeah, see, I see. Ain't nobody back up in there with them, with no comments, bank statements. Salute, salute, salute. Look at the fam up in here. Look at the fam up in here. John Snow, 941. Listen, I have been around these dogs for five years. John Snow, 941 says, you are a meatball to talk about somebody you never met. And here you are, John, talking about me. So I guess we two big motherfucking meatballs in this bitch today, ain't we? Right. I tell you what. If you don't want to hear it, hop the hell off. But I'm here today to get to the bottom of some shit. And I'm not going to say anything that wasn't said by the man himself. This was a dialogue he said that he hoped was being screenshotted because he was screenshotting it. So it's out here now. It's out here. We're not going to play with it. We're not playing with nobody. I don't care how much time you got, got in the game. I don't care about none of that. I want to know the truth. And that's what we're here for. And I'm going to tell y'all something. They call me the flame keeper because I have a relationship with the truth. But more about that on another day. So, again, the question. Did you ever do business with art? How did you get the name Camelot? And honestly, the question was not put as diplomatically as that. The question was put to him, then you never did business with art and just stole the name Camelot? Is that it? Y'all tell me what y'all think the response to that was, y'all. Jon Snow, you met the man that got a beautiful dog from that man. How is that dog bred? What's in his pedigree? And can you be sure of that? That's great, Jon Snow 941. And I'm not saying he doesn't breed good dogs. I'm saying that for a very long time, the dogs he bred were in question as far as their pedigree. And now he's literally making it known that he really had no respect and no regard from the man he got his foundation dog from. Man, listen, I don't know about y'all, but yeah, I got a problem with it. I got a problem with it. Yes, I do. But perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself, right? Because y'all haven't seen the entire conversation, right? Y'all haven't seen the entire conversation. You know what I mean? So I'm going, you know, we're going to move forward, right? So obviously the question has been put to the man. So you never did business with art and you just stole the name Camelot? Let's see what his answer is. Let's let the man speak for himself. Are you retarded? Seriously? I didn't steal a name. I made the name. I made a bloodline. Boo! Wait a minute. You made the name. Kenneth Sonia made the name Camelot. Kenneth Sonia made the Camelot bloodline. Do you hear this? I'm sorry, if you knew Art Sedaris, if you knew him personally, at some point, I need you to leave a comment about this. At some point, I need somebody to really, really get down and dirty about this. The man says he didn't steal the name, he made the name, he made the bloodline. So in other words, 
you telling me Oxidera stole it from you. Is that it? Is that what you're telling me? Oxidera stole the name from you? Now, King Arthur of Camelot makes perfect sense to me. You tell me where Kenneth Sonia of Camelot makes sense. Man, listen, man. You're dealing with a quick wit, man. We, not, we, we don't play no games around here. I've held my tongue for five years on this. And I've been watching, watching, waiting, watching, waiting, looking for some clarity on this issue. And here it is. This man comes out completely derisive of Arsidaris, completely derisive of Camelot Kennels and Arch working Camelot Kennels. He says he made the name. He made Camelot. He made the bloodline. So there was no such thing as an Arsidaris. The man never existed. His work in Camelot Kennels with the Duke Dog never existed at all. Wow, that's heavy, man. That is heavy to do to a man in his grave, bro. You literally trying to steal his legacy. Can a man have that? None of us really get to choose what it is that we are best known for when we leave this world. People will remember what they choose to remember. And his popularizing of the Kubar's Golden Bud Dogs bred by Benji Reyes and, and his partners, man, listen, I, what can, who, can, who, who can really take that from him? So at the end of the day, to disparage the man and his work, and it's where you got your start, oh, wow. Yeah, you you a special kind of creature. You're a real special kind of creature. Yeah. Yeah. You're a real special kind of creature. I come from a different world, homie. Say what you want, but don't talk too greasy about the connect. Some people still love them. Wow, man. This is crazy. He said, are you retarded? Seriously, I didn't steal a name. I made the name. I made a bloodline. I guess you are real slow. You can't read paperwork. Yeah, I read paperwork pretty well. Bruiser was never re was never uh, uh, registered as Camelot Pitts. Why was that? Just a question. Just throwing it out there. Did you run the name Camelot Pitts while Art was alive? Did you do this with his knowledge and his sanction? Man. Despicable, B. Are you retarded? Seriously. I didn't steal a name. I made the name. I made the bloodline. Damn, bro. I guess you are real slow. You can't read the paperwork. That's why you would talk to a young person, right? You would talk to a young person like that, right? As opposed to really educating, providing history. As opposed to saying, oh, you only know what I tell you. You don't have no history except what I tell you. Bro. <laughs> he don't know he's talking to somebody who, who, who the, the young brother's talking to somebody that got good sense. And if Art never used the name Kem, okay. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Bill Norris said, brother in Christ, let it go now. Your dog speak for you. 
I appreciate I appreciate that, Bill. I appreciate that. At the same time, there is a little bit of truth wrangling that needs to be done here because we don't we don't sit well with those men who speak ill of the dead, particularly when those, you know, that 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 person has he's contributed a great deal to what we do and we love today, right? So it, you know, you're gonna have to pause and, and hang out with me for a minute, brother, while I while I regulate here. It's just what it's it's just what we do here. All right. Elevated kennels, 828. He said, hell, I only run my bloodline that I made the cross of how much more real with myself could I get? Not everyone can say the same. And if he bred heavily on dogs from Camelot kennels. Uh, here we go. Bless you, bro. I hear you, bro. I hear you. And if Art never used the name Camelot Bloodline name, then why can't he use that name when it was repeated in his dog's pedigrees? That's the point. Art did use the name Camelot Kennels. It's in the pedigrees. Camelot's the Duke. I mean, like, like it, the name is all in the pedigrees. So why would he use that name? Especially if you didn't really have respect for that man and his work, which the tone of his message definitely sounds like. Right? So I, I, I really, um, it's really a thing where you have to understand that We have people, man, that are accusing me of being a liar and a scammer, right? Because of how I label my dogs. And they are doing that based on what Camelot Pitts is doing. This man has literally said Imperial Flame Kennels is a liar and a scammer. He's scamming y'all. Right? Because he himself is not educated to the difference between Camelot Kennels and Camelot Pits. So if I sound like this is a bit personal, yeah, it's personal. Yeah, I take it personal. When you got people assaulting my, listen, my joint is an LLC. It's official. I don't need nobody slandering my company name, talking about I'm lying and scamming people. Because Camelot dogs are, 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 are it, it, bullies and, 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 and got mastiff in them and all of this other kind of stuff. He's specifically talking about Camelot Pits. He's specifically talking about dogs like the bus, the Chevy line, which is not applicable here. But at the end of the day, if he thinks that's all of Camelot and he's producing this and, and, and this is what he's spewing, that's going out to thousands of people, folks. You take the time to regulate that. You take the time to check that at the door. Because I've been waiting five years to get this clear. And I don't know what part of that y'all don't understand. I've been waiting five years to get the distinction between Camelot Kennels and Camelot Pits clearly made. Clearly, Camelot Pits is a stolen name. It is a stolen name. And he had the nerve to tell somebody else on Instagram that they should come up with their own name. Wow. <laughs> Old boy's a thief of hearts, ain't he? Man, listen. Man, oh man, oh man. Whew. You know, 
There's a little bit more to that. John Snow said, show us your property where you keep your dogs. You are looking at it, John Snow. I have three dogs and they are right here at my feet. Ain't never been nothing to hide here. John Snow. Why don't you tell us who you really are, John Snow? Show us who you really are. Show us what you really about. Show us your dogs. Show us your property. Clown. Right. Pump 17, what's good with you, Trent? Nah, bro, he wasn't even talking about me. He was talking to a young brother who happened to name his IG page Camelot Pitts. First it was Camelot Pitts 784, and then he changed it to Camelot Kennels 884, and he made the distinction in his page description about this is not Camelot Pitts, this is Camelot Kennels. Nothing is bred from Camelot Pitts. So Kenny got hot with him, jumped in his inbox, you understand, and went ape shit on him. You know what I mean? Talking about how he didn't know nothing and calling him retarded and all this other kind of stuff. And then claim that he made the Camelot name. He made the bloodline. How you have this man claiming that he made the Camelot bloodline, bro? How he claiming he made the Camelot name? Whew. That's crazy, bro. And that's coming from somebody that's supposed to be a vet. Somebody that's got respect in this game. So I keep telling y'all, man, the game is the game. The game is the game. Don't 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 let the dogs in the in, in the game confuse the don't confuse the two, right? The dogs in the game are two different things, man. The dogs are lovely. The dogs are the best ever. The maggots involved with some of these dogs, man. Man, listen. Anyway. Anyway. You know, John Snow. I'm not going to even address you, Jon Snow, because at the end of the day, bro, you do sound like the fans. <laughs> Yo, man, like seriously, bro? But listen, bro, it's not just that, Trent. He was talking crazy about Art. It's like, yo, Art went to jail. He was in jail for years. When he came home, he ain't have no dogs. He what bloodline? He bred mastiffs and bulldogs, and it was just a kennel name. He bred multiple lines of dog, multiple breeds of dogs. So like, it wasn't about them big reds, right? Now we know it wasn't exclusively about them big reds. We know he ran that cutting hand. We know he ran them box dogs. We know all of that, right? But at the end of the day, man, at the end of the day. Those of us who are fans of these big reds, much of our exposure to these dogs, I feel like we owe the art, right? And for Kenny Sonia to have gotten his start with the dog chief and then act like, you know, he had no association whatsoever. I just I just found find that really, really disrespectful, bro. Like, like, mm. well, I ever thought about doing business with him. I just changed my mind, B. That's a, that's that's an actual fact. And I ain't saying that to nobody else, for nobody else. I'm saying that for me. You know what I mean? Like, don't 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 burn a connect. He in his grave, B. Like, I don't know. Dudes think different. Dudes think different, man. 
let's see what else was, was in this garbage. Um, he says, I guess you are real slow. You can't read paperwork. I did not steal a name. There was no bloodline. Before me, Camelot Pitts is the bloodline. There is no such thing as a Camelot Kennel's bloodline. It was a kennel name to sell different breeds of dogs. Listen, bro. I mean, tell me if I'm bugging, man. Egos ruin the dog. Swamp fire pit say egos ruin the dog game. It seems to burn a lot of possible breeding bridges. Yeah, it does, man. It does. It does because dude can have some great dogs, man. And, and you know, I learned a long time ago, people do business with people they like. You understand? People do business with people People do business with people they like. And and honestly, bro, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to trust nothing I got from them. That right there would just would, would just throw me. Like, you could tell me it's bred this way, that way, the third way. And we all know, man, like, there's only but so much we can, we, we can vouch when we get dogs, man. We don't actually know how these dogs are bred unless we were there when the dogs were pushed out right um or when the dogs were, were, were connected so all that being said there's a certain level of 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 just integrity that i look for right there's a certain level of integrity that i look for and i'll sit back and i will watch for years you understand what i'm saying before i say okay it's okay to do business with this person it's okay to do business with that person and so it was very important to me to understand exactly where Kenny Sonia fit in the Camelot game. If the founder was Camelot Kennels, was Art Sideris, if he founded Camelot Kennels, he brought the Duke into prominence. He raised the dog, brought it into prominence, um, did the breedings that we all, you know, the raging Cajun and, 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 and the, the, um, the other dogs he acquired, man, that the... the uh, rocket fire you know uh, the point being man like he did all of that and then here's a guy saying man he never did none of that man that's that was all me man like like that's me right there zulu nation family what up fam what up what up what up Right, Trent said, just like he knowingly added the bus dog to his program, knowing the bloodline behind that dog. He's a known thief and a lie, he said. That, it's really problematic, man. It's really, really problematic. Zulu, we actually in here, bro, and tonight's topic, man, is basically... Camelot Kennels versus Camelot Pitts, the difference between Art Sideris and, and Kenneth Sonia. Um, what really happened, man, was tonight Kenneth Sonia jumped in uh jumped in somebody's IG inbox and um he claimed credit for the Camelot name, he claimed credit for the Camelot bloodline, and he did this, you know in a very disparaging manner in in other words the way the way he was talking about um the way he was talking about old boy was kind of crazy you understand um so the long and short of it is we find out man that he claims he never did no business with art he never owned a dog that art produced and that um he never bought a dog from Art. So 
he had a son off of Duke that was bred quite extensively. And that's the chief dog. Everybody knows chief. Y'all want to, um, matter of fact, we're going to start talking. We're going we gonna, we gonna to create a whole nother joint for this man called the world of Camelot. And we're going to get in. We're going to get into some, some of these dogs, man, the history, man. And I'm just going to give you all a, um, a look at what some of the insiders are, are doing. You know what I mean? Or what some of the insiders are doing, what they talking about, how they moving, Right. So we'll get into that in the future. But for today's purposes, um, I want to be clear. I want to go on the record. You know what I mean? This video um, is literally a record of a conversation held with Kenny Sonia via IG inbox where he claimed credit for the Camelot bloodline, claimed credit for the Camelot name, and said before him, before Camelot Pitts, there was no Camelot Kennels bloodline. So, uh, at that point, there were no more questions asked because, um, I, I, honestly, I was disgusted by the premise, by the answers. I did it, it just really something, man. It, you know, I, I, how could you even fix your mouth? But hey. Zulu said, honestly, I know the whole details about the both of them. I like Kenny's dogs, but I don't know him that well. I had a couple of conversations with him, and I stay away because what I'm doing over here is not popular. So Elevated Kennels. There are no uh, 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 real facts in dispute here. I've talked to people that know both men. You understand what I'm saying? Or that um, that new art. <laughs> um, Elevated Kennels says, did you call the ADBA and ask any questions? Just wondering, not hating. Just seeing if you got any facts from the record keepers. So the facts are uh, pretty clear. Um, King, uh, 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 I'll put it this way. Camelot Kennels was a play on King Arthur of Camelot. It's not, it's not really, you know, it's, it's it's not rocket science, right? Camelot Kennels acquired a dog from a man named Benji Reyes and called that dog the Duke. They raised the Duke to be a very prominent producer and popular dog, right? Now, Duke also had a brother. He was also bred, and they were basically line bred. Um, they were line breeding off of the Kubar's Golden Bud Dog. But I don't want to get into the details, right? The fact of the matter is, Art Sideris had Camelot Kennels. He produced the Duke. The Duke produced the Chief. And Kenneth Sonia started with the chief he started with the chief dog which was directly off of duke so anything you say concerning about you know like you trying to say like you created the bloodline eh, i'm sorry i'm sorry it just don't it just don't fly john snow you said i don't have facts and you call me a bozo now, we ain't did no name calling here, and your mother's not here, so we're not going to get into that. If you have facts, post them. If not, move on.
a month. Mm. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all something, B. We can have an intelligent discussion, and I agree to disagree at any point in the conversation. But if you get into the name calling thing, you're going to find yourself disrespected. You're going to find your mother disrespected. And I don't have a problem with that. John Snow. Next time you want to you want to say something slick out your mouth or call somebody a name, think about your mother. Put the name on her. Zulu Nation said you have deeper knowledge than me, and it's all crazy out here. Only those who were there, those who who were close to those dudes, know the truth. If I said something, it would be nothing but opinions. Trent says. Pump 17 said Chief was Camelot Pitt's foundation dog. He was off the Duke and Bruce the Pebbles. Thank you. You know, I could go in <laughs> John Snow. <laughs> Don't play yourself. Don't play yourself. I'm not going to play myself on this screen, B, but I wish you would. Please come on through and I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something that's going to make you proud. Play with me if you want to, fool. See, and this is the whole thing. Zulu Nation says, why is it that he denies it, though? Did they have beef? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what their relationship was, if there was a relationship. You see, years ago, and, and I'll state this again, man, because I know you're just coming in, bro. Um, but when I first got into, when I first got with the Camelot Dog Zulu, the only name that I knew of was, like, Bruiser and Kenny Sonia right um like kenny sonia was known as camelot pitts he was known as at least in my mind at the time the og of the camelot game but me continuing to do my research and dig and all of that i found out that you know well he wasn't prominent prominent in the camelot in the, in the creation of camelot and the camelot bloodline like like he wasn't a founder. He wasn't the pioneer, right? And so when I found out that Art Sedaris was the pioneer of Camelot Kennels, and he dropped and 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 uh, you know, he dropped dogs off the Duke and 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 so forth and so on. Um, it made sense when I looked at my dog's pedigree, right? Because now I'm saying like, oh, okay, I don't see so much of this. I see more of that, right? And then uh, me just doing what I do, I post a video about my dogs on YouTube and I get a dude calling me a fraud, a liar, this, that, and the third and all of this other kind of stuff. And come to find out, well, the reason he's saying what he's saying is because Kenneth Sonia did what he did with his dogs, right? which was not what Art was doing with his dogs. So now if there was facts there, you know, if, if there's some missing facts there, let's fill them in. You know, we got people running around talking about, um, um, we don't know the facts. Well, then I, I suggest you put them, you put the facts in. So, at the end of the day, it's really a thing about, you know, like, like understand Zulu, you got your boy Master of All BS literally making a whole video, right? Putting my company name in it, calling me a scammer, 
right? Telling me, they're, they're telling people that I'm scamming them because I'm trying to make a clear distinction between Camelot Kennels and Camelot Pits. And then here you have Kenny continuing, right, in somebody's inbox to claim that he's the founder or, or, or he's claiming credit for the whole shebang. Like art never existed. Like there was no dogs uh, before Camelot Pits. Wow. So it affects me directly. It affects me personally. Right? Because you're not going to put my name attached to a lie and misinformation. And then I come to find out, see, I'm, I'm in this conversation because I've been digging to find this information out for the last five years. I have wanted to know what was Kenny Sonia's relation to Art Sedaris? How did he come about to use the name Camelot Pitts? If, in fact, Art was the founder of Camelot Kennels, like, how did that transpire? And what I was hoping to hear was that they were somehow partners or that they were some type of a mutual passing of the torch, something along those lines. But what I'm seeing is that it was actually just a situation where he chose to take the fucking name. He just said, this is, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to use this and I'm going to run with this. Now, exactly what the situation and circumstances was with Art at the time he did that is unknown to me. But uh, yeah, there, there, there's some, there's some issues, bro. There's some issues, especially when you got motherfuckers running around talking about I'm a scammer, I'm a liar. What? I've been researching this for five years. Don't play with me. And finally, we have the answer. Finally, we have the answer. Kenny Sonia stole the name Camelot. Kenny Sonia claims to have started the Camelot bloodline when in fact Chief was his foundation dog and Duke was his was Chief's father. And Duke belonged to Art Sedaris of Camelot Kennels. So how the hell can you claim that you started the bloodline? Man, bro, that's disrespectful to a man in his grave. I, mm, I don't know where y'all come from, man, but we don't do those around here. Let me get into some more of these comments here. Elevated Kennel says, so if I buy a dog from you that has your kennel name repeated numerous times in its pedigree, that I can't line breed on that dog and create a bloodline name using the Imperial Flame bloodline name? Elevated kennels, you could you could conceivably do that. But would you deny that the dogs came from Imperial that 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 that, that the Imperial Flame line started with you? If you wanted to start your own bloodline, you would probably use your own name. Right? If I'm going to create Imperial Flame bloodline, then they're going to be Imperial Flame dogs. Right? But at the same time, I'm not going to, uh, 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 if I come to you and I buy dogs from you and you elevated kennels, right? And I might call my dog, you know, uh, my, my first dog I get from you is going to be elevated kennel so-and-so, right? And then, once that dog produces more kennels, um, produces more dogs, if I, if I want to connect that bloodline back to elevated, I might say, well, that's elevated so-and-so. But dogs that I produce usually go under my kennel name. I don't go and take your kennel name as my kennel name and then start producing dogs under that. Where does that work in the game? How does that work? So, right here, right, in Pump 17, let me put this up here. 
He says, listen, there's old videos of Camelot. Uh, uh, Camelot kennels, right? To prove Kenny is alive. Listen, Good Guardian K9 got one out there in the other the other dude man um working dogs something oh man i forget it. i forget his can his, his his channel name but good brother good brother man um 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 i always get him in good guardian k9 confused though anyway anyway uh both of them have posted the same video you understand what i'm saying um and it's so serious that even if in fact right like um you wanted to carry on the legacy in honor of the man's name that's not what i read in this conversation that's not what he was coming across as he was coming across as this is his work all his work That art really was irrelevant. That's rough, yo. Elevated Kennels 828 says, when the man died and the name became available to buy as an LLC, that's when it became technically legal. Don't matter how anyone feels about it. Elevated Kennels. I don't care whether or not it's legal. You see, there's something called integrity. And integrity is what you do when no one else is watching. Integrity is just doing the right thing because it's right. Integrity is not opportunistic. So you can save the bullshit about it being legal. There's a lot of shit that's been called legal, including the assassination by police officers of people on the street. And it was found to be justifiable homicide. So don't tell me about legal. Tell me about integrity. Tell me about honor. Tell me about things like that. Because that's what we do when we pass the torch, man. Keeping the flame. Keeping the flame alive is about keeping alive real wisdom, real integrity. That's what the dogs are about, man. Keeping the bloodline alive, keeping it intact. So when people start messing with the bloodline, calling it something else, and then claiming the name, yeah, it's a problem. It's a problem for those of us who are looking for the real. It's a problem for those of us, man, who are trying to soak through the muck and the mire just to get the dogs that we are truly looking for. Asiatic soldier said, working line, K9 TV had a good video on it. I believe that's the other brother, too. Working line, K9. I, I, I forget, and, and I apologize to those channels, man, if I, if I, uh, if I revisit this issue at some time down the line, I'll make sure I get those names right. Um, because it is important. The brothers put out some very valuable information. Um, so, you know, it really shows, you know, like, It shows a lack of, 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 of real character to me. Now, you can say what you want. You can feel how you want to feel about it. This is my platform. I'm going to speak my piece. There's a lack of integrity if he just stole the name Camelot, man. If he's sitting there trying to claim that it's his bloodline and he there was no Camelot kennels before him, and he states that very clearly here, that's the painful part. He says there was no Camelot kennels bloodline. There was no Camelot Camel's bloodline before Camelot Pitts. It started with Camelot Pitts. What? Wow. So it started with his work with Chief, not Art's work with Duke. 
man, listen. But at the end of the day, you know, I've had my say about it. So I'm not going to really, uh, I'm not going to really belabor the point further. Those of you who feel like you want to be, you know, jock riders because maybe uh, you got dogs from the man or something like that and don't want to look squarely in the eye at what he's done, man, that's on you. That is on you. But like I said, I've been watching people for years. I've been watching several breeders in this Camelot world for years. So this video is not something that happened willy-nilly. This video is not something we haven't been slowly, slowly, you know, just trying to brush the dust off, man, and get down to the bottom of. So now the whole question of taking those dogs in the direction of the Mastiff and breeding the band dogs and continuing to call them pits and pit bulls is exactly the reason why Camelot dogs have the name that they have in the game today. It's exactly the reason why I got some ignorant fat slob hopping on YouTube channels talking about I'm scamming people. And mind you, I ain't sold a dog to nobody. But I'm scamming people. I ain't took a deposit. I ain't post nothing for sale, but I'm scamming people. But when he made his video, the Camelot dog he posted was a Camelot Pitts dog. It wasn't a Camelot Kennels dog. He didn't he didn't produce nothing. He didn't, it wasn't Gator or 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 it wasn't even Chief or or or, or you know uh, uh any of the dogs that's out there now, the rock solid dogs. It wasn't none of those dogs, man. The dog this fool posted was a Camelot Pitts dog. I think it was a outlaw or, or one. Of them. I don't know. The, I don't know the dude's dogs like that, so I can't say exactly which dog was posted. But I know how his dogs look. Be he posted a Camelot Pitts dog. Okay, Yela once said, if the if the LLC is available and our family didn't want to buy it, I don't see nothing with see nothing with Kenny buying it. Didn't he have arts dogs behind his stop? But you gotta look at how he's talking, right? Um I don't have no problem with him doing that if He's claiming that. What he's claiming is that Art didn't have no bloodline. That Camelot bloodline and the Camelot name started with Kenny Sonia. And he's stating that blatantly. The legalities of, you know, who inherited the name and all of that, man, that's really immaterial. He can sit there and talk all of this stuff, man. But at the end of the day, the very person that he's disparaging art to, he's telling that person, come up with your own name and do it legit. How can you tell somebody else that and you just guilty? You guilty of, 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 of stealing that man's stuff, man. It don't even sound like Art would have sanctioned it. I mean, if you in the game and you running the same line of dogs, don't you at least go to dude and say, yo, listen, man, if you ain't using the Camelot name no more, can I use it? Do you mind if I run my dogs under that? Like you named your kennel. You named your business Camelot. The same as that man's business.
And believe it or not, I could create an LLC today called Camelot Red Nose Pits. Even if there is a Camelot Pits LLC, I could create a Camelot Red Nose Pits LLC. What I'm saying is that changing a word or two makes it legal. Doesn't make it ethical. And if you really want to talk about business, when you study business, ethics is a major part of doing business. But again, that's my time, y'all. I'm not going I'm not going to uh, uh rock with that all night. Um <laughs> You know, uh, it's just one of them things that it's good to know. It's good to know. So y'all heard it here first, right? Here on Imperial Flame Kennels. You understand? And we are definitely going to be uh, going forward. Diving a little bit deeper with a more like a insider look at the world of Camelot. Um. So we're going to take this as the first installment on our inside of look at the world of Camelot. The rift between Kenneth Sonia and Art Sedaris. I have no idea what caused it, what it was about. I have no idea why Kenneth Sonia spoke so disparagingly about Art Sedaris um, and why he claims credit. But it's clear that if his foundation dog was a, was a, a production off of a, arts foundation dog then he could not have possibly started the camelot lot so um to take credit for that is is um you know i'm just gonna say here and now i consider him exposed man i could i consider the man exposed for what he did you know what i mean um, but, uh, you know, I know it's a very controversial topic. Uh, I'm gonna leave y'all with this final thought that, um, when you go to create a thing, if you truly want to be great, if you truly want to put your stamp on it, you put your name on it. The name Camelot was tied to the name Arthur, King Arthur of Camelot. We all know the stories as, of ch as children. That didn't happen in this other case, right? I didn't go out looking for nobody else's name when I wanted to build my kennel, when I wanted to build my breed, my, my, my line, my reputation. I said Imperial Flame, it's the flame keeper, baby. That, 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 that ain't coming from nowhere else, nobody else. That's not borrowed from nobody. That's that, that doesn't steal from nobody. And I got three dogs. I'm thinking like this when I got three dogs, and none of them are famous, like you know, like come on. I ain't got nobody here producing like the Duke. So I just say, you know, what stands to reason, man, is that we try to do what we do, man. You know, keeping the heat is always about keeping it real. Fire, the flame, burns away impurities, right? Fire is heat. Fire is light. Fire is expansive. Fire does not, right, uh, uh, scale itself back. Fire is always looking to expand more. And, and, and that's our knowledge base. That's the very that, that that that's the very source of wisdom, scholarship, and anything that we do. Because anything that you hope to do in life, whether it's dogs, whether it's construction, whether it's real estate, whether it's stocks, whether it's uh uh uh, uh bonds, whether it's traveling, whatever it is, you must study your craft. 
and weed out the bullshit. Study your craft, weed out the bullshit. All right? And with that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end this broadcast. Peace and blessings to y'all. Um, It's been real. You know what I mean? I know many people may have an area with this topic, but, uh, you know, controversy makes conversation. So uh, trust that we will be back with the second installment of this. I, I, I get the distinct feeling that uh, I have not heard the last of this. So peace and blessings, fam. And y'all remember, keep the heat.